Hey guys, it's my first video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to configure a Linksys router. This demonstration can be used for other types of routers, but Linksys router is what I have, so that's what I'll use. First, you have to go to the Linksys page, which is 192.168.1.1. This one is going to pop up. Default routers have username as admin, password as admin. This is the wireless Linksys router page. As you can see, that's, these are the DHCP settings used to enable IP address. Group. First, what you're going to need to do, head over to wireless. Configuration view is supposed to be manual unless you need a Wi-Fi protected setup. Network mode has to be fixed. And right here is where your first step comes in. The SSID is used to identify your network. You can change this to whatever you want to enable your network, but best broadcast is you're not gonna actually see this so nobody can hack into your wireless anyways you can insert anything here and what you want to do is first I'm going to save the settings I'm not going to save it well I'm just going to cancel just click save settings to save it in pop up I'll just save settings with my old settings to show you you save settings this page pops up Okay. Sorry about that, it's taking a bit. Changing my address. As you can see, it'll be connected to my network right here. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go head over to security. As you can see, the first and last button needs to be clicked. Then we're going to go back to wireless. Wireless security. And here you go. The best wire security would be WPA2 personal, which means basically that you can enter anything. Encryption, you're going to put CKIP and just type any password you want. This password will be used to sign into your network, so make sure you remember it and don't make it obvious to find out, such as your number, your name, or IP address. Enter the same. I guess I'll have to change my instance because you guys saw my password. Anyways, we're going to go to access restrictions. You see this has to be one. Edit. You have to allow access during all the times. We're going to go back to setup now. Now, depending on how many computers you want, your network to have. Most routers are going to get overloaded, so I suggest enabling DHCP right here. Enable and start IP address. You can use this. You can um, choose whatever the hell you want. But remember, it cannot go past 255. That's the last bit. And anyways, you have whatever. So now you're going to go to DHCP reservations. Which is this button right here. Now this window pops up and you have your DCP reservations. Right here where it's highlighted, where I'm highlighting right now, shows all the basically my iPad touch and this laptop which is right now connected to my to my router. No other computers are so turned on right now. But here I have all my devices which are reserved. When you reserve the IP address right here, you just have to select it here add clients 
but they have to be already connected. If the reason you do this is because you want them to have the same IP address all the time, and this will pre pre prevent IP address conflicts, and you won't be at but you'll have to do like a bunch of steps. I'll make another video on that. Anyways, we're gonna that's this page. Now, once you're into these two settings, we're gonna go back to wireless. We're gonna go to wireless Mac filter. Now, this is very important. Mac filtering is one of the best securities on this. You're gonna enable Mac filtering right here, and you're gonna click this button, which allows the Mac addresses that you insert here. Those are the ones that are allowed to connect. Any other type of MAC address will not connect to this network. It will be blocked. If you know a specific MAC address, you can click this prevent and then just practically answer the MAC address right here in one of these boxes. Anyways, to find out the MAC address, I'll press start, run, CMD. You want you enter the command prompt. You're gonna type in ipconfig space slash all. This is a basic command. It shows you everything your IP address in the server, whatever. You're gonna scroll up right here, and right here, this is your physical your physical address is your MAC address. As you can see, this is this one. It's my first one right here, MAC address three. So basically, yeah. Okay. Once you have MAC filtering. You're going to want to go back to basic wireless settings and then you're going to disable SSID broadcast. Basically what this does is it stops your your SSID from showing up on a, on a wireless scan. So if somebody's trying to access a wireless, they do a scan to see what networks. If you disable this, it will not show up. This prevents hackers and it basically helps you. Alright, the way you're going to connect to your network is you're going to set up a manual, you're, you're going to manually set up a wireless. I'll show you right here. Open network connections. Here, you're going to create a new connection. Just go to next. Connect to the internet. Set up my connection wire manually. Basically, whatever the choices are, I'm, I'm on broadband. Click that, finish. Anyways, once you're done with that, exit that out. You're gonna want to exit that out. Click on your wireless. Now view available wireless networks. See, I'm basically connected right here. You're gonna go right here, set up a wireless network. Yeah. Then you're just gonna follow the steps. Enter the SSID. This will detect it if you know it. You can set up your SSID with some crazy letters, so it'll be really hard to find out. Basically, that's all. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I'll have more videos coming up. Thanks.